If you've been following us, you know that we just finished a beautiful Christmas bundle, uh, but Thanksgiving is still this week, so we wanted to put out one more little project, a uh, good last minute little card, freebie of course, uh, for those of you that are attending uh, a Thanksgiving dinner and want to give the host or hostess something really cute and memorable and something that they'll actually display maybe during dinner. Uh, so let's take a look at what I have here in front of me. It's actually a little card that uh, doubles as a luminary. So uh, let's put it together here and um, we can actually, let's start with some simple things just to kind of get it together uh, and just kind of get our feet wet with something simple. So we've got the main part of the turkey here and then we've got this piece that's gonna go on like that. So now before you glue this down, you might wanna grab um, like a weeding tool or something and just kind of ruffle these, these little uh, feathers and get that glued down. Just very easy on the glue on this piece here. You don't need a lot. And just get that right on. It only goes on one way. It should be pretty obvious how it goes on. And try not to push down on the little feathers that we just ruffled. If you did or do, you can still kind of fix it. Okay, and we've got uh, two little pieces for his little wings here. We're gonna put the red piece down first. Okay, and that is gonna go like this right here along the edge like that. So let's get that down. And then there's a nice little overlay on that to kind of give him a couple colors on his wing. So it should be a pretty quick card. If you don't want to have to run out to get a card and you got some time, maybe while you're baking the side or cooking or whatever it is you're doing to prepare the side that you're bringing to your feast, if you're bringing one, or if you're just making some cookies and you know, you've got an extra 30 minutes or an hour to make a card and you don't want to run out, this would be a really cute little project to work on. And if not, you can always download it and use it next year. Okay, so put that red part down first, and then we have two more little accent pieces that are gonna go just inside of that little area. And these are kind of little delicate pieces, but as I mentioned in our previous video, we kinda wanna start pushing the limits of these cutting machines. Why not? Okay, so that's gonna go on just like that. And we'll get the other side here. And then we'll put his little face together. Now for this little tiny piece here, you don't need a lot of glue. Just make sure that you get a little bit of glue at the bottom and a little bit of glue at the top, just so that it stays in both places and just overlay it like that. And it's gonna add some nice dimension to it too. Okay, so we've got that. Now, we've got his little waddle. We're gonna glue that. There's a little, couple little score marks on the head of our little turkey to help you with the placement of the waddle. So just get that nice and aligned. And there we go. Just like that. And then we have a little yellow piece that's gonna go on top of that for his little beak. It's a tiny little piece, but you can do it. If you have a, one of those little silhouette pick-me-up tools that I occasionally use, that could come in handy. Okay, just pop that right on top of that layer. And we are gonna give him some googly eyes. Just a little drop of glue on the googly eye. Use the beak as kind of a guide. And I would put it right up against that beak there. This guy's gonna have some pretty large eyes. And it might be helpful to try to get both of those eyes down before that glue sets so that you can adjust it if necessary before it completely sets so that he's not looking like he has a uh, atosis. That was some medical terminology there. That's cute. 
Hey guys, where's the dinner? Oh wait, I am dinner. Okay. Um, so next thing here, just a real simple thing that we can do again is we've got um, these two little feet. Now this, I actually did a print and cut. Uh, we included the sentiment in a ping format. Uh, if you have a machine that's capable of doing a print and cut on a colored piece of cardstock, then you're welcome to use it, or you can just stamp it. So we're gonna take these feet and just glue them to these little sections that pop out. And I would probably just do it like that, just leave it flat for a second. And then they're gonna pop out and actually hold the card open. So his feet kind of hold the card open. It's really cool. Okay, so let's, let's get that in place. Like that. Okay, I'm gonna pop those out now. And that's gonna be the little stopper for the card when it opens up. So that's gonna be really cute. Okay, so now what we can go ahead and do is we're gonna put our vellum on the card. This is the actual card base here, okay? And um, in your extras folder, we've included a solid scoreline version for those of you with the Cricut Maker. And we're getting pretty close to beginning to uh, implement and include solid scorelines into all of our projects. We're kind of doing some field testing with our freebies since they don't cost anything for you guys, just to make sure that everything works properly. So my suggestion would be as far as this goes, because there's a lot of intricate pieces here, um, I would kind of line it up first, make sure that it's lined up, and then put some glue here in the center to get this to hold first in the center so it doesn't move around. Okay, we'll do that first. And then, uh, because there's so many little details here, let's just do little dots of glue around each little tail feather one at a time. And then maybe a little dot in the center there. Just to, I tried this by doing the whole little area and it just was crazy. And it just didn't work out. It was a sloppy mess. So I think it's best if we just do one little section at a time like this. And actually Diana recommended that. I don't know why, but I was kind of uh, just scatterbrained today. One of those days Okay, get that in place and just work your way down. The other one is gonna be, uh, it's, exa it's exactly the same piece, it just goes the other direction. And uh, so it's basically the same process, very simple. And this way it's just gonna be a lot neater and go together flawlessly for us. You can put a couple little dots on these little areas here too, that's fine. Okay, there we go. So our vellum is down. Okay, and now I'm gonna take this layer, put it right on top, make sure that you've got it nice and aligned. It's covering up all the little cutouts correctly. And again, let's just lift this up here and just glue that down there. I'm gonna dab that, that's way too much glue. Press that down, make sure it sticks. And then just repeat the same process around this tail feather. You got plenty of room for glue around these little areas. I actually kind of reworked this project to make it more user friendly. It's the first time I put it together. I saw some room for improvement and I think it's going to go together beautifully and easily this time. Okay, so the next one here. Maybe a dot there and a dot there. And if you kind of if you kind of miss the mark on some of the areas where you put the vellum down, it's okay. And this kind of came undone, so I'm gonna add a little extra glue there. Okay, and next one, just little dots. Don't overdo it on the glue. We don't want to warp the cardstock. Just want it to stick with as little glue as necessary here. Okay, and the final one here, just little dots. Get it as close to the inside as you can without going too crazy. There we go. Okay, 
So that's going to be the front of our card. Now, what we're going to do to hide all that is take this layer and glue it right on top like so. Okay, and don't worry about the fact that um, you can see the little bits of glue there because this piece is going to go on top and it's going to hide all that. So don't even, don't even fret about that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this in half like this so that it's easier for me to align this because all you got to do is just make sure that you get all that stuff nicely aligned. So let's get our glue on the back of this piece. Try to work that glue up to the tips. Just a little smidge of glue up there would be great. And then of course on the bottom, you wanna make sure that you get some good coverage there. And then just kinda, just kinda graze it in these little areas here. So you get a little bit of glue on there. Oops. Oh my goodness. It's kinda hard to hold. Like that. There we go. And that glue is drying quick. So we gotta act quick here. Okay, get that nice and aligned. Especially with the, you can kind of use the top there and then give it a nudge and just place it. Get that as accurate as you possibly can. Give it a push. <clears throat> got a little bit of glue squirting out there, but that's okay. It'll dry nice and clear. Sometimes it leaves a little bit of a sheen, but you can see how the inside is going to look beautiful. The outside is starting to look beautiful. Now we've got this piece and I'm just going to align that nicely so it matches up with everything. It's going to hide those little areas where we added glue to the center. Um, but we are going to have to kind of act and work quickly here. Um, so uh, what I would do is I would go a little bit thicker on the glue on the inside here and then uh, again, work the tail feathers. Make sure you get your glue out there. And I'm going to dab this to flatten out this glue because there's a lot of detail here. If you have um, spray adhesive, um, the kind that's repositionable, I would probably recommend using some of that on this little piece because there's so much detail here that your glue may start drying up before you get a chance to actually glue it down, uh, but maybe not. We'll see how it goes. That looks pretty good. I'm just gonna dab this all over. It kinda helps spread the glue out a little bit too. This is why the, the spray adhesive might work really nice for this. Okay, and then let's just get this aligned as accurately as we can. I'm kind of looking at the leaves on the bottom and then working my way up and hopefully that will all sit nicely for us and it looks like it's doing pretty good here. I'm going to grab this thing and just use this to kind of press this down and I have a couple of areas here where the glue is kind of splotching out but that's okay. I'm going to go in and just kind of wipe it away before it really sets and gives us that little glossy sheen that I'm not so fond of. Okay, that looks good. There we go, that looks nice. Okay, and we can put our little turkey on now. So grab your turkey, do si -do. And just line that up nicely. And make sure his head is nice and centered there. There's a little spot there for his head. There we go. Like that. That looks pretty. Look at that. That's really cool. Okay. So, um, final thing here. This is the front of the card here. Now we've got this tab here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take these two pieces and just sandwich it in between here. Now you wanna make sure that you get the right piece on top. So let's just close the card up like this so that the turkey's facing forward. Then we'll open it 
and this piece needs to go on top here. Okay, so let's, let's put our glue on this tab here. And I actually am going to, to make sure that I get that glue out to the very edge there. I want that seam to be nice and perfect there. And then just get this lined up with that seam there, like that. Okay, so then all we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of close this up by putting this piece on the back. Okay, so there's the front, there's the inside. Let's flip this over and we're gonna put glue on the tab as well as on this piece here. You wanna get your glue out to the very edge of these. Close this up, it'll hide the tab for us too. Like that. Okay. And just pop that on there, get it nice and aligned with the other layer that's already there. And it should fit nice and precise. like that and when you open it up it'll pop out like that and it's gonna sit up like that cute and it's just enough just uh, big enough to put one of those little electronic tea light candles back there to illuminate um, all of the detail on the uh, you know the turkeys uh, tail feathers and of course we have an envelope to go with it We've got these two pieces. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue this to the back of this piece to create a little bit of an orange um, leaf. Nice little contrast there. Okay, so get your glue on there. Maybe a few little dots here and there. Smush that out. Okay, and lay that right on top. Just match it up nicely. Out. And we're going to take this, I'm going to glue it to the back side here. And you can see that um, we actually made this with the maker using the score tool. So we've got nice solid score lines, no perforations. Let's fold everything here at the score marks. And we're just going to pop this right in here so that it's nice and centered in there. Okay, like that. So. Let's get our glue. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue around the perimeter here, because I don't wanna, I don't wanna mess up and do too much. And then go ahead and put glue here around this thing, but don't get too close to the perimeter of the actual leaf. I'll leave a little room there. Okay, and then what I'll do is, I'll flip this up like this, just so that when I pop that in, I can make sure that it's nice and perfectly aligned and then give it a squeeze and push down. Let's take a look at that. There we go. That looks good. Okay, so that's the inside. That's really pretty. And then to finish it off, we're just going to fold those tabs there. And we're gonna get our glue on here, on these tabs. And we'll go kind of light on the glue. wasn't very light actually, but it's good enough. I'm gonna spread that glue out to the very edge here. My goodness, this stuff is drying so quick lately. It must be really dry. Okay, and I'm just gonna fold this over onto these tabs to close this shape up and complete our envelope assembly. And just be patient and try to apply pressure on all these areas here so that they all join together nicely. Okay. There we go. And there's our beautiful envelope. And then 
here is our card. We're gonna tuck that in, close that up, pop it in, and you are ready to go. So that's it for this card. Uh, definitely cute, something different. Um, take a look at the photo so you can see how it will light up once you put a little tea light behind it. And um, hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving. And um, if you enjoyed this video, please take a moment to hit that subscribe button on our YouTube channel. And if you do make this card or any of our projects from any of our bundles, take a moment and visit us on Facebook. Do a search for Dreaming Tree Group and join myself and 8,000 plus dreamers that inspire us daily. So thank you again for hanging out with me and I look forward to crafting with you again. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.